The Renetti is great fun to use, and it's quite possibly the most powerful secondary in Modern Warfare right now. As it's a pistol though, going for gold can be a challenge if you're not used to exclusively using a secondary in multiplayer. Fortunately, this video is going to be showing you how to unlock gold camo quickly and easily. I'll be covering my ideal class, best game modes, as well as various tips and tricks for each camo challenge. Timestamps are in the description if you want to skip ahead. Running these in burst fire akimbo, which is what they're famous for, makes them lethal at close range. For camo grinding, I prefer to run the Renetti as a single pistol, as I feel the increased accuracy and better range are more important. I'd recommend ideally running primary riot shield, the Mark III burst mod barrel, 5 megawatt tactical laser, 21 round magazine, lightweight trigger, XRK speed grip, EOD, ghost, battle hardened, stun grenade, and thermite. The pistol gives you rocket high mobility, allowing you to move through the map at breakneck speed. This pace really fits an aggressive playstyle as you can move and fight so quickly that it's hard for other players to keep up. Unfortunately, you don't unlock the burst fire barrel until level 46. Up until this point, I'd recommend running the Mark 1 extended barrel to give you a range bonus until you've got burst fire unlocked. You also don't even have the chance to unlock akimbo until after level 36. I personally think running these pistols in akimbo, at least in multiplayer, actually makes them worse. You lose the accuracy and range that's so important for so many of these camos. The riot shield is in Included simply because you may as well have some extra protection. Some challenges may benefit from slightly different attachments. These are included in the relevant camo section. As you may have guessed from the class setup, hardcore modes are going to be your best option when it comes to getting gold for the Renetti. Hardcore means the pistol can be a one shot kill with or without the burst mod. This makes picking up kills at close and long range much easier. In core, you can be looking at anywhere from three bullets or more to get a kill. This obviously makes your life much harder. So long as your snap accuracy is on point, you'll be able to do some proper damage in hardcore. I unlocked this gun while the Dirty Old Houseboat playlist was on, so hop into whatever hardcore small map variant playlist is on at whatever point you're watching this video. Spray paint, 250 kills, woodland, 50 headshots, digital, 50 crouching kills. All three of these will happen naturally through playing. Objective based modes are best for all three as you'll simply have longer to get kills. For crouch kills, you may need to make a concerted effort to crouch kill players, but this will also happen naturally. Headshots is the same principle, provided you're aiming at the head, you won't struggle. Sticking on a mini reflex sight may help you here if you're struggling with the point accuracy this requires. Dragon, 30 hip fire kills, splinter, 30 long shots. For Dragon, make sure you're running the 5 megawatt laser, as this will give you great hip fire accuracy and a short sprint to fire time. Whenever you get shipment, this is your prime opportunity to grind this camo. For Splinter, you may actually be better off ditching burst barrel and sticking on the extended barrel instead. This will give you both range and accuracy. Hardcore objective modes are ideal for long shots, as you'll know where enemies are likely to be, allowing you to get set up and ready to pick off enemies at range. While the increased damage of this mode means you only have to land one shot to get your long shot. Topo, 25 double kills. Burst fire akimbo and 27 round extended mags may actually be your best option if you're struggling here. You can lay down a hail of bullets at close range, so picking up multiple kills won't be hard. As long as you're careful with reloads, you can drop two enemies very quickly. Tiger, 110 kills with five attachments. This is easy as the ideal setup for this weapon uses all five attachments. Again, objective based modes are ideal as they allow for more kills per match. Simply use whatever setup you feel is best. Stripes, 25 kills shortly after reloading. If you're struggling with this, drop the extended magazine attachments altogether. This will force you to reload more often. Again though, this challenge tends to happen naturally. Reptile, 75 kills without attachments. This one can be a massive pain, but hardcore will make it bearable. The Renetti can still be a one shot at close range and a two shot at medium, making it usable in this mode. Focus on flanking enemies and taking them by surprise. This will allow you to bypass the disadvantage not having attachments will give you. Skulls, 25 three kill streaks. This is perhaps the only time when playing more defensively might help you. If you're struggling to pick these up, then stick on a lightweight suppressor of focus on objective based modes. If you play smart and make sure you don't rush out into open spaces or across long lines of sight, you'll be fine. Don't don't engage enemies at great range, as this is where you're weakest. Stick to short or medium range engagements where you're likely to come out on top. The Renetti is amazing in its own right. It allows for a super aggressive playstyle and can be lethal at close to medium range. Its mobility makes it a great option for hardcore, which is why the Renetti performs so well here. If you want to exclusively decimate players at close range, then having a Kimber will allow you to do so. For more measured and tactical gameplay, but still aggressive, sticking to a single burst pistol is the best option in my book. It offers a great middle ground between mobility, range and damage. Getting it gold can be challenging in the sense that it's not a primary, but the Renetti is the easiest of the pistols for getting gold. It is also great fun, which makes these challenges all the more enjoyable to do. Hopefully, this video has helped you out with grinding out gold as quickly and easily as possible.